Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, we're going to do more of a series of these cat and mouse videos as us being the cat to give you folks an idea of what's it like on the other side of that radar detector that is in the patrol vehicle trying to get you and your speed. So what we've done is I've created a, went out and did a lot of different types of uh, setups on traps that, you know, as a driver we all see. And uh, it's going to be really interesting uh, what, you, what we find here. You're going to get the whole picture as to what's going on on the radar detector side, but now you're going to see what it's like on the other side of the radar gun or laser gun. And then you're going to get a better picture overall of what's actually going in these different scenarios. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate that. We'll have more of this unique content out there. I don't think you're going to find it anywhere else on the internet. Uh, you can join us on Facebook. You can find us on Facebook, uh, Radar Busters Online. Uh, Twitter as well, Radar Busters. And we'd love to engage with you if you have any questions or if you'd like to see any additional tests. Let's get to it and let's have some fun. Okay, we're going to see when we can get these cars we're running a constant on right now there you go there's the distance so we'll keep this uh, tracking He's slowing down he sees a car Alright, he just passed. Okay. Let's see when we get this guy's speed. There you go. It's going 80. Now we're losing him because there you go, we got him back. He was doing about 79. We're getting our tracking history. So you can see when he came into a detection range here. Passing. Okay, we're going to try the 35.5 of this uh, RP1. We're going to start transmitting. There's the 75. Passing now. Okay, we got the speed already of this vehicle. Going 70. So you can see these uh, police radars can definitely clock. Now we're getting two speeds, picking up that other vehicle. We're only doing stationary approaching, so we're only going to get radar speeds uh, from vehicles coming our direction. So you can see, looks like that front is doing 69, they're slowing down, they see my car. Now we're going to see there's another vehicle way in the back, 73, just cresting, 74. So we'll let these slower vehicles go by us now. There they go. We're probably just going to see that 74, 76. You can see how lethal this is. 77. Here's some Doppler here. You can hear him slowing down. Sees the car. Not sure what it is. 65, back to the speed limit. 64. 63, but we knew exactly what he was doing, so 
Here you go. If you were with a radar detector, all the way back there. Just past. Okay, we'll turn it off, release. We'll wait for another vehicle to come. So you can see the fastest mode, you can clock more than one vehicle. Very fascinating. So even though we're at a distance here, this will be, when we turn it on, essentially be an instant on. There we go. We'll see when we get a speed. There it is, 84, 85. Now we're in the constant transmit mode, but for him, it was like an instant on shot, even though now we're transmitting. He's, cl he's clipping along at 90 in a 65, 91. Doesn't see us yet, but got the blank out there. We get it back, 91, he hasn't slowed down, but he will probably start to slow down, maybe. 89, no, nah, he's booking along. Goes by, boom. Okay, we have the antenna now inside the vehicle shooting through the glass. These last tracks were outside mounted. So now we just have it sitting on our dash. Let's see what impact, if any, does the glass have. Okay, we got a vehicle coming our way. There's a 64. We picked up a fast at 69. We may lose the speed briefly. There it goes. So remember that when you're driving with a radar detector. Cars between you and the line of sight. You may get a break. Here comes the car doing 62. There's the other one behind doing 66. Pickup truck. There he goes. Well, we got another vehicle coming at us. 70. We'll see what these calcs are. If you go to the uh, description, we'll see what those distances are. All right, went by, we'll power it off. This is through the glass. Shooting through the glass. The 35.5 Raptor RP1. Stationary approaching only. Now really at these great distances, you can't get a visual tracking history. So if you get clocked at a great distance like that, the officer really is not following procedure. Tough to fight in court, tough to prove it. I got nailed in North Carolina that way. I ultimately made a deal essentially at the window, but I knew it was a bad ticket. Here we go, here comes a vehicle. Okay, we're turning on the radar. There you go, 78. And that's differentiating between the vehicle going away from us with, with uh, what is disregarding and that vehicle coming towards us. So we'll give you the distance calculation down here as long as this guy doesn't slow down too much. He's holding at 78, 77, pretty good. You should be able to calculate what that distance is, but that's just about the limit of this uh, this level part of the road. This is through the glass, so I don't see any difference. We haven't uh, seen any difference there. All right, he just passed by. 